in one of the uh, videos that I had done uh, said how optimistic are you about the future people have said it human being who makes life complicated we are all human beings we make our lives complicated uh, we first have simple lives then we make it complicated then we spend time to uh, unravel it I keep saying financial uh, uh, business is the best because you first make complicated products you sell it to people then you get paid to uh, demystify the same product so people come and ask me is this you live good is this you live bad look I'm not in the advisory business uh, I can only say this product is not suitable for you <clears throat> instead of saying whether the product itself is good or bad having said that I don't do that work right I only make blogs and vlogs and uh, I appear on television I manage my own money and that's it beyond that I don't do anything so when you ask for my email ID largely I'm going to say I don't do this work right so whether it is uh, you wanting to manage uh, 800 crores or 500 crores or whatever I don't have the wherewithal and the infrastructure yes I can um, hold your hand I can take you to somebody who can manage it for you it's not my cup of tea whether it is 8 crores or 800 crores so don't ask me what is my email ID it doesn't really matter yes of course I'm happy to give you my email ID happy to connect with you but uh, legally I cannot do that because I'm not an RA so I cannot give you advice and yes generic I can say that uh, should I uh, should I fund my son's uh, flat purchase should I fund my daughter's education abroad those are broad ones for which I make videos I don't specifically give advice on such stuff it's little unworthy in India it's little too risky right so again in pursuit of perfection I changed three portfolios but got very less returns now I'll keep your mantras uh, and stay happy yeah, absolutely jumping from one tree to other does not really help very wise advice uh, are you organize uh, this is another question are you organizing any seminar in Jabalpur at least when you say Jabalpur I can straight away say no I am not organizing any seminar in Jabalpur because I am not even organizing seminars in uh, Chennai, Mumbai, Delhi, uh, Bangalore or any of these places because the it's too painful to organize if somebody is organizing I have to just go talk and move that is much easier model for me I am not here to collect money 2500 5000 7500 including lunch not including lunch then somebody is saying can you transfer it to the next seminar I am unable to attend I don't have the I don't have the team and the bandwidth to do all this I run subramani.com but I run it alone uh, I take little bit of editing help from somebody but that's about all nothing else right so I don't have the infrastructure uh, to hold something like a Jaipur dialogues meet in Jaipur uh, they must have spent uh, 50 lakhs on food alone right so that kind of budget that many kind of people that's a huge event management no I don't even organize simple uh, one day lectures I just don't right so Jabalpur is a clear no other metro cities itself I'm not doing uh, your money wisdom is good what is the uh, this is another good question somebody who calls himself bull of the bulls I don't normally reply to such uh, things what is the point of this video if there is no clarity on anything good question uh, videos are meant to give clarity or create or create more confusion you have created more confusion and I really didn't understand the use of this video other than knowing that we can't predict a bul bubble which all of us know good one the uh, my wisdom lies in the fact that I know that the market will fall the market can fall 30 percent market can fall 20 percent market can fall 50 percent and the uh, wisdom to know that I don't know when this will happen right so I can say yes maybe we are in a bubble or not in a bubble only after the bubble is pricked so the choice is do you want to watch something from somebody who doesn't know anything or not watch that's your choice right so go ahead uh, I won't miss you much bull of the bulls um, I read the same story on reddit uh, how dare my parents not give me money uh, you could have read it on uh, reddit but in this mail somebody had sent me and I have changed the figures dramatically I have changed the location some locations were hinted there but I have not said anything same person could have written somewhere else I don't know but it, this was uh, uh, from the email which I had got this numbers were very different from the uh, from what I was talking about yeah but many youngsters feel it is the parents duty to help them they are so much of entitled things saying uh, I have finished my education I am going to take a gap year why are you taking a gap year well my parents can afford it I am staying rent free 
uh, I'm not paying for food. I'm mean, getting. Uh, I mean, my father pays for my entertainment tax, uh, for my entertainment bill. Uh, he pays for the, the bags and uh, suitcases that I buy. He pays for my travel. I'm having fun. I, by the way, I'm also earning money. So for this privileged class, uh, they can't understand why their parents don't uh, support them. Well, bad luck. Uh, yeah. So I was in uh, Shillong, and somebody has given me this advice, very sane advice. says don't reveal your location unless you have already left he said leave uh, which is good advice because two friends uh, uh, i mean one friend of mine went with another person to a foreign country i'm not naming the foreign country and stayed in a good hotel it's not he's staying in some dicey hotel and he stepped out and took a local taxi went to another bar and they were having a drink and uh, suddenly his phone got jammed so he was to step out to make a call they said you can't go out he was asked to pay up upwards of 1000 dollars per head and for them to leave and he said i have no choice there were 15 goons sitting there there was no way how i could take them on i have so he had to wire uh, i think 1200 or 1300 dollars over and above the bill it was a big reputed uh, hotel he says i don't even want to name it i just want to uh, forget uh, i can live with the experience that i lost 1000 dollars since he was an employee the company paid for it but if it was me i would have paid for it that's it so be careful about where you are going what you are doing so i agree i was in um, in one part of india uh, recently but when i say recently you would know because i travel quite a bit and uh, on the road i was asked why i was there and i said i am a tourist then i was let go because i was already told that i should say i am a tourist and not somebody who has come to uh, sell mutual funds or teach mutual funds or things like that so i said okay so i said i am a tourist which i was anyway so that's what happened so be careful uh parents are would you make a video on the kind of corpus needed if one wants to move into assisted living or geriatric care at the age of 65 onwards i don't know whether you will need to move at 65 or whether you will or you will need to move at 70 but right now the cost per person in for geriatric care would be approximately 1 lakh 1 lakh 20000 right so 1 lakh means for the next 35 years you i don't see anybody needing this kind of money uh, for 20 30 years when you need that assisted living of somebody changing your bedpan and things like that that is what i call a uh, geriatric care right geriatric care is always assisted if you're just going to live there then the costs are much lesser and you will always get some money for the assets that you have so if you have sold off your asset let's say you're staying in a house uh, all paid off where the rent is 50000 rupees some your neighbor has given the flat on rent and now it is 50000 rupees you need to understand that you're actually spending 50000 rupees a month because it is the opportunity cost with which you could have done something else so if you sell off your house you will have enough money or things like that but the uh, easiest thing to do uh, at the age of 65 is to say how much money do i need for the next 35 years because so whatever is your expenses at the age of 65 you multiply that by 30 and you will have a very good answer as to how much money you need for retirement to be in retirement uh i saw similar tweet in the us uh, your sensible advice is top notch Shillong and Meghalaya are beautiful. Uh, you are looking like Prakash Jab. New video, which is rich in quality. My God, too much of praise. I don't want money power to control my time. Thank you for your time. Index was one forty eight ten thousand. Index maybe five and a half crores now. Yes, very useful. Please make videos in Tamil. Uh, scary when we think of the situation that are that we'll find ourselves decades later. How geriatric care corpus is needed? Yes, geriatric care is a corpus is expensive. So t- today, if the uh, expenses are say one point two five lakhs per month for. Uh, a uh, bedridden person that means about 15 lakhs right 12 plus 3 up to uh, 15 lakhs 
uh, 15 lakhs you provide for 3 years, right? That's about 45 lakhs. So, about 50 lakhs if you provide for your geriatric care, you should be well off. But you never know. I'm just saying, I'm assuming that you will be in geriatric care for 3 years. That's some kind of an average. Somebody could end up there being there for uh, 15 years or 12 years or whatever. Then you have to plan differently. But yeah, you should be able to sell off all your assets, other assets and pay for this because uh, assuming that that is your last move in your life uh, that you have made voluntarily, right? What is the greatest worry of all retirees? You are discussing is the reality, right? Long term care, uh, attempting to save a few thousand rupees on taxes also is a fool's uh, job. True. You have to pay your tax. Whatever you want, you have to pay your tax. That's it. Uh, Thank you for your insights, wonderful thoughts, <coughs> maybe described mistakes. Ah, this is a good one. Um, somebody is saying that uh, watching your videos has reduced how much I panic and I am now not panicking as much uh, compared to what I was panicking 5 years ago and your videos helped. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. 